Hello everyone. Today I will continue my hardcore raw gold farming, and today it will be between level 40 to 60. In the previous part, I grinded between level 20 to 40 so I could purchase my normal ground mount. If you haven't watched that video, then I would highly recommend you to check that out. You can find it in the description below the video. So in Tenaris, there's a couple of spots where you can farm these fire rocks. You can start this at around level 41 or 42. They drop four different items that renders for a decent amount, anywhere from around 6 silver and all the way up to 12 silver for each item. When I reach level 44, then I always swap to Feralas. Here you can find these enemies and the loot table are amazing. Six different items that renders for a high amount, and the drop chance is also high. Like it wasn't enough, then you can even make additional gold by skinning these creatures. You can just sell all the leather to a vendor. Because this spot is so good and there usually isn't much competition, then I like to stay here all the way up to 48. However, if you get tired of the other spot, then you could always go back to Tenaris and kill these basilisk. This is usually also an area where there isn't much competition, simply because these basilisk isn't really a part of any quest. Four different grey items and even a chance that you can get Edge Masters. So if you play a warrior and you would like to get these gloves, well then this spot might also be the right decision to go to at this level range. Else you also have another option, and that is to go to Angura Crater and kill these raptors. As you might notice, then there's also a lot of these raptors. This makes this spot amazing as any class with cleave or AoE damage. These raptors also has a loot table where there's a chance that you will get the Edge Masters. But what is the actual drop chance? Well, that's 50%, because either they're gonna drop, or they're not gonna drop. By the time you reach level 50, then you could also go to Western Plaguelands and look for these spiders. The major reason why I like to kill these is because of the Iron Web Spider Silk, an item you can render for 25 silver. On top of this, you can also get two other types of silk and even two grey items, but these doesn't winter for that much. If you're looking for another creature to slay, where there's a high chance that you will get an item that winters for a high amount, well, then you should also be looking for these in a shower. Five different items you can winter, and three of these is even worth more than 12 silver, and the most expensive item sells for 19 silver, so definitely also a decent creature to kill. If you go back to Nguru Crater between level 50 to 55, then you can also kill these gorillas. Two different grey items that winters for a high amount, and the drop chance is honestly also fairly decent. So definitely a spot to check out if you also have leveled up your skinning. Just remember that this spot is also a location for a couple of different quests. Another solution would be to go to Burning Steps. In Burning Steps, you can kill these scorpions. Three different grey items and one white that winters for more than 20 silver. You can kill any scorpion all over the zone, but I just prefer the ones to the east of Burning Steps. If you would like to continue farming spider silk, then you could always go back to Western Plaguelands, and at the eastern part, you will find some higher level spiders. The biggest downside of this farm is that there's also a lot of other creatures at the same area, so you will not only be killing the spiders, and therefore the gold that you make isn't that high right here. What I would do instead would be to head a bit more to the right and enter Eastern Platelands. Here you can find many different bats, and the loot table are amazing, and you can even skin these as well. So this is definitely a better raw gold farm compared to the other spot. So the last spider silk location wasn't that good, but this one is definitely way better in Silophus, because there's gonna be so many different spiders you can slay. Let's say you were going to use the auction house or trade with a person, then this spot is also an amazing gold making method, because the iron web spider silk is a material you will need as a high level tailor. So these usually sells for more than one gold on the auction house. At the very same area, you will find scorpions to slay, and at the southern part of Silophus, you will also find other scorpions and spiders that you need to kill. It's pretty much mandatory to kill the scorpions if you're also farming the spiders. Three different grey items that winters for a good amount of silver, and a white item for 20 silver. So definitely mandatory to also do this farm in Silophus. 
Just be aware of the poison that the scorpions apply to you. This can stack and deal a high amount of damage. By this point, you're also getting closer to max level, so level 60. And now is also a good time to swap to Winter Spring. In Winter Spring, I kill these creatures, and you can even skin them for additional raw silver. If you're interested in other gold making guides, then I would highly recommend you to check out the channel. It also contains leveling guides, tips and tricks, and other useful things for hardcore.